Hey guys, Roy Plays The Sims here, and welcome to the 18th part of the Asylum Challenge. I'm so excited that you guys are here, so we are going to continue on our third and final aspiration today. I cannot believe we are almost finished with this challenge, and that everyone is still alive. I mean, wow, the fact that everyone is still alive is a thing, right? So those of you who watch my Twitter, did you guys happen to see the new Alice in Wonderland um, movie trailer? Uh, I think it's the, through the looking glass. Let's just go ahead and follow her. Whoa, what is... Oh, he's wearing a hat. I'm like, what happened to Otto's head? He's missing the top of his head. But no, he's wearing a hat. Oh, he's wearing Christmas stuff. Okay, that kind of freaked me out for a second there. So those of you who watched my Twitter, you guys saw me freak out over the new Alice in Wonderland trailer for the movie. Basically, the beginning of the trailer is Alice wakes up in a freaking asylum and she's diagnosed with hallucinations. Oh my gosh, I could not believe it. I'm like, that's my, like my Alice. So I thought that was really cool. So today for plans, we need to continue on with our third and final aspiration, the nerve brain. We need to finish reading one more book and achieve level three logic skill. And the amazing Lori Smith explained to me how the logic books work in the last episode or in the last, yeah, in the last episode in the comments section, she left a comic that said, a comic, wow. I, I bought a ton of comics the other day, so I'm thinking of my comic books. Okay, so Lori Smith, Lori Smith said, I think logic book one covers skill level one through three, book two is four through six, and book three is seven through nine, which is a lot of help because I was like, I don't know what to do because Alice was so stressed because she read a book that was like above her, I almost said pay grade, but like above like what she could understand. Sweetie, you're taking the longest time eating your breakfast and you're just standing in the doorway. People are trying to go about their day. Let's see what Alice wants to do. She wants to dance to stereo music. Re upgrade an object. Cheshire Cat would like to come over and hang out. Is that okay? Of course. You're like our best friend. And she wants to finish painting. Pretty cool. And she has to go potty. <laughs> so as he gets done in the potty, hopefully we, we can run in here. I'm thinking since Jasmine is standing here, that probably means that she has to go as well, right? No, she's tired. Okay, Alice, run your little butt in here. Oh my gosh. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And I bet you the Cheshire Cat's at our front door. Nope, almost. Oh no, he is at our front door. Oh, Alice, okay, hurry up, go potty, and um, express your admiration to your Cheshire Cat friend. I think the Cheshire, whoop, okay, the door's closed. <laughs> I think the Cheshire Cat is her best friend. Let's see how that works. Um, Cheshire Cat. Yeah, she's really good friends with him. I don't know why the Mad Hatter never comes over or like the White Queen or the Red Queen. They never come over. They're our neighbors and we're really good friends with them. But the Cheshire Cat for some reason is always the one that just comes over. So let's go ahead and see what she's going to do. She's going to go ahead and, oh, the game froze. Oh, she's going to check chat with the Cheshire Cat. Cheshire, wow, I just can't talk. I think I've had way too much coffee today. <laughs> so let's go ahead, give him a heartfelt compliment and give him a hug. And what I wanted to do, we need to repair. Oh, no, wait, I don't think we have to do repair. No, we don't have to repair anything yet. We need her to read a book. And if I remember right, she has a logic book. Level two, level three. Oh my gosh, the freaking Mad Hatter is here. Oh my gosh, I was just saying he never comes over. Oh, hello. Heartfelt compliment, quick hurry before he leaves. Invite him in, mash all the buttons. <laughs> Give him a deep conversation. Reveal a deep secret. Joke about fashion, because I think he might get a kick out of that, because you know, He's into fashion. He knows what's hip. <laughs> Maybe Alice would joke about the weird trends. Let's brighten his day. Poor Cheshire Cat's like, what? The Mad Hatter comes and you ignore me? Let's breed this random frog with that random frog. Oh, I'm so happy he's here. And I'm almost sitting from this kind of, because I wonder, oh, there goes Duncan. Where is like the white queen? Maybe I should zoom out because they never come over. Okay, Jasmine's in her garden. I forgot what house they live in. I know I didn't put them in with the goths. Okay, 
Oh, well, I have no idea where they live, but I, I remember putting them right next door to us. What if she wants to... <laughs> All right, come on in, you guys. Wow, that is a loud TV. <laughs> Let's evangelize grilled cheese. And the Cheshire Cat, dude, do you want to come inside? You're... <gasps> Look at this. Is he actually coming over to say he's coming over? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm bouncing in my chair. I am that excited, you guys. We've got three of them here with us. We just need... You know what? Why can't we invite them over? Invite to hang out at Current Lot. Let's invite over the White Queen and the Red Queen. Why not? Let's make a thing of it. Is Jasmine sleeping in the bushes again? No, it's somebody else. I don't... Oh, Asher, sweetie, you have beds upstairs. Um, go ahead and stop proposing a crazy scheme because we want to invite the white rabbit in. You guys, our hallucinations are like, almost all of them are here. I'm so excited for Alice. <laughs> okay, so she is going to call the other two and invite them over. I really wanted to make sure she read a book in this episode. Everybody is coming over. Oh my gosh. Let's just stand here and just wait. Oh, I'm so excited. He's like, yeah, I got a grilled cheese sandwich before. It was really good. It was kind of cheesy. Let's brighten his day. Oh, I hope I clicked on the right one. Okay. Because <laughs> Ask to Leave was right above it. That was really close. Oh my gosh. The White Queen is here. <laughs> Let's flatter her. You look so pretty today. Look at her. She's like, I know. <laughs> Let's give her a hug. Um, tell a dramatic story about a girl who uh, lives in Wonderland. Oh my gosh, she passed right by us. She. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? The the her collar on her dress totally just. Went. Okay, maybe we need to invite her over again. Um, let's do this. Invite to hang out a current lot. Let's invite the Red Queen. Let's see if that works. So stop talking. Look how flirty she is. Freaking love it. I hope that doesn't mean you're going to leave. No, 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 no. Stop leaving. <laughs> let's get to know her and then let's um, share ideas with the rabbit. Oh, please don't leave. She's like, I'm just going to run in circles until <laughs> Red Queen will be right over. This is crazy. I can't believe so many of them are going to be here. Let's zoom out a little bit and see. Oh my gosh, there's another white rabbit. <laughs> um, let's invite him in. Okay. I'm I'm zoomed out like, whoa, that is really weird. Do you see how my game is freaking out like that? Like the lines? I don't know if you guys saw that. It was like a white flash. Okay, we're going to pause it because we're going to jump on this opportunity. Let's discuss... <laughs> let's discuss logic puddles puzzles with the queen oh oh she kind of freaked out for a second there it's okay i wish we could talk about like croquet with her but i really don't think that's an option oh my gosh look at no don't leave let's flatter the white rabbit um let's share a secret with the red queen let's flatter the white queen Kellis ha Kellis has reached level five <laughs> of the cooking level look at this we've got the treasure cat out here Look at everybody. And what's so nice is that our housemates talk to Alice reached level three. Good for you. We may not even have to read a book today because I, I wanted to make sure I at least leveled up in the logic skill. Look at this. She is talking to the White Queen, the Mad Hatter, a couple of rabbits. Oh, I just love this. But what I was going to say is I love that our housemates like talk to, ooh, careful Cheshire talk to our hallucinations as well they, they like go along with it they're like we understand we totally get it alice where's alice she's out here on the doorstep talking to everybody oh i love it are you leaving rabbit i understand if you want to is she leaving she might be oh no she's having a conversation now where did out oh she went into the backyard i want to invite these guys in i don't want them just to stand out on our front porch my queue is full. Oh, bye, Cheshire Cat. Oh, he's such a sweetie. Um, call over. Call over. Call over. She has such a good sense of humor. Do you see her standing on the front porch telling jokes? 
What else does she want to do? She wants to chat with Kara, view a piece of art. Oh, there's so many amazing things that she wants to do. And if you guys have noticed, Alice is almost, um, <laughs> look at all of our hallucinations out here. Alice has almost completed what is required of her. Um, uh, as you guys know, she was, she got a head injury and she woke up believing that she was the actual Alice from one, from Alice in Wonderland. So she was sent to this asylum and she's supposed to complete three aspirations to prove that she is all better. But what I'm thinking is that she's not going to get better. I mean, she's already working on her third aspiration and she's still is seeing quite a few of her aspirations. Or for, wow. Of her. Help me out here. Whoa, look at the, It's doing it again. You see that? That's from the Red Queen's outfit. What the heck? If I zoom back, it does it again. I wonder why it's doing that. Maybe that's why she never comes over. <laughs> that is so weird. But um, as you guys, I, this is so distracting for me to see that. Um, I'm thinking Alice is just going to play along that, oh, yeah, I'm completely fine. And because maybe she kind of wants to keep her hallucinations around. She gets along with them really well. And the Cheshire Cat's like her best friend. Look at these two. Uh, let's gossip with him. Uh, let's express our admiration. Oh, my game froze and Alice disappeared. What is happening to my game? Alice, where did you go? Oh, now she's over here. Okay. <laughs> wow, my game is absolutely freaking out. Who, Jasmine, are you back in? Sweetie, there's perfectly fine beds upstairs. I know the game is freaking out just a little bit today, but there's good beds upstairs. Awesome. What else does she want? Nope. Now she wants to go back home. She steps out on the porch. She's like, no, I want to go back home. And she walks back inside. Okay. Alice is just going to freak out for a little bit. Maybe there's too many people on our lot. So let's go ahead and have Alice read logic. Wait, right? Let me see what Lori Smith said. I think logic one covers level one through three. What are we at? I think we just got through three. So let's have her read this book. Wow, I'm so backwards today. I haven't had my coffee. It's like three o'clock in the morning and wow, I'm exhausted. Alice, where are you, sweetie? She, <laughs> she's just standing out front talking to the Cheshire Cat. I love that he's just in, you are not potting in that bush, are you? You know what I just realized? Do these bushes, I'm so, okay, so we're only allowed to, oh, he's dancing. We're only allowed to have one bathroom here. And I'm thinking these bushes count as sleeping spots and, oh, this is so distracting, sleeping spots and bathroom spots. So I think I might have to delete this because I'm only allowed to have one toilet. What do you guys think? Should I delete these bushes? I didn't even think about that. I just put them there because I thought they were pretty decoration. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Let's turn the stereo off. Our hallucinations are done. Alice, did you see that? She was hugging him and she glitched out over here. What is she going to do? She is going to reread. No, let's go ahead. Yeah, there you go. Let's just focus on reading this book. Wow, I feel like this episode is all over the place. I can't focus at all. So much is going on. Are you eating food from our fridge? <laughs> as long as you're having a nice time, Mad Hatter. You guys need to be really careful with that cow plant. I've seen what happens when you eat the cake, especially if your name is Paolo. <laughs> Everybody is off to work. Let's see what everybody's doing right now. Asher is fast asleep. Alice is going out front to read her book. Where exactly are you going with that? She's kind of freaking out today. Look at this trash. Our bin is kicked over. She just decided to stand out in front and look at the asylum and read her book. Good for you, Alice. <laughs> Let's see what Eugene is doing. Eugene is being a helpful guy. He is going to take out the trash for us for us. Kellis, oh no. <gasps> Did she get eaten by the cow plant? Is that what that means, you guys? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You need to stay away from that cow plant. Isn't she beautiful? She's so pretty. You need to stay away from that cow plant. That really has me worried. Otto Vaughn is at work. Let's see. Duncan is going to come over here and pet the cow plant. 
He wants to woohoo in a bush. Huh. And he wants to get to know Jasmine. Good for you. Jasmine, oh, she's asleep. See what I mean? This counts. Does this count as a bed since she's sleeping in it? I'm not really sure. I feel like I should delete it. Bush nap. <laughs> Revolting bush. Yeah, well, Cheshire Cat tends to potty in that bush. And Kara is at work. So, and she's super tense. So, and Alice is still standing out here on the street. <laughs> You are cracking me up. So let me know if you guys want me to delete these bushes. I, I really don't know what to do about that. Are you? Yep. Nope. She's completely done. Let's, um, cool. Let's breed more frogs. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. Awesome. Level two, level three. Let's have her, hmm. Maybe we should have her while well, she's hungry. Why don't you talk to the people that you live with? Let's go ahead and talk to Eugene. Let's give him an inside joke. What is he making? I have no idea what he's making. Let's talk to Kelleth. Kelleth, let's share a conspiracy theory. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. I cannot believe everybody just freaking came over. That was awesome. Shoot, and I wanted to look for Easter eggs in this episode. So many things I wanted to get done. And the fridge is broken. Let's repair the fridge. Poor Kelf is like, I can't make any food because there's no room. Oh, no, there's room. You can make that. The floor is a mess. The counters are a mess. Although this asylum hasn't been too much of a mess as I've seen other people's gameplays when they play it. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen it. complete chaos and people die and fires and I'm watching you, Asher. You need to be really careful. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, she just took the food that he made. Oh my gosh. Notification wall full. Good job. So let's clean this. Mop this. Are you going to continue that? I think so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. So many things happened. I was so distracted and so all over the place. Just chaos happened today. <laughs> if you guys like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. Thank you guys uh, for watching. Thank you, Lori Smith, for letting me know what to do with these logic levels because I'm so confused. Um, don't forget to leave your comments and questions, suggestions, anything you guys have down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>